everyone, this is Kyler back with another video and today I am on my Twitter account, Fancy Orbit. so if you have Twitter, make sure to follow me. So I'm here to spill something about some new stuff coming in Royal High. So let's go. So first of all, congratulations Royal High for hitting 4 billion visits. So as you guys may know, Royal High just hit 3 billion visits and that commences the trading hub update. And that was like March. So four months ago, Royal High hit 3 billion visits and now it is in 4 billion. That is a huge milestone. So first of all, we have pictures from the 5 no Her Roblox and I are working hard on the true build for Royal High still. We're closer and closer to finishing it up. Here's a look at the new tarot and trees we are working on adding. Follow us for more updates. So here we have it. I think this is for the cheer studio. Yeah, I think it is. I love the color scheme. I know I said I say this very often, but the color scheme for all of the Royal High creations are really good. Pink, blue, yellow is just perfect. Yay. Oh, this is my first time seeing this and it's cool. It looks like a castle. Is it really a cheer studio only? I think this new realm, new school realm will be really like three times larger than the whole new Royal High campus. And yes, here's some more pictures. Ooh, the texture is really good. It reminds me of Battle La Royale and Divinia Park for some reason. It looks cool. Then this. Ooh, some benches. Yeah, so let's move on to the next one. So the next is, is that the new Royal High dorms will be based off the original 12 element dorms in Enchantix based off Winx Club. Which element are you most excited to see in the new Royal High School? So when I go in Enchantix, I always choose light. So I will most likely go for light. And it looks really cool. Like these carpets make you feel very... Ooh, it's very enchanted. Look at those goblets. Reminds me of Goblet of Fire. Hehe, <laughs> Harry Potter crumbs. But it's cool. It's really cool. I love it so much. And I'm really excited. I am really anticipating this school realm. And so far, I am not disappointed. This is more than enough. And I am really excited for it. And I am, yay, excited. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. So the next one is more pictures. Here it is. Here. There. Ooh, like the stadium is really big. Oh my gosh, I love it. What are your thoughts, Stellar? Mm, it's really pastel. I love pastel colors. So. You think you will be a cheerleader? No, <laughs> uh, no, no. <laughs> Maybe. A supporter. I'll just on the yeah. Let's go. Yay. Are you so excited? Cheer for cheerleaders. <laughs> Cheer for the Valkyries. Yay, we're Valkyries. Are you excited in this realm? Yes. How excited are you? Um, infinite. <laughs> yes, so am I. Ooh, it looks cool, right? It looks cool. Like, oh my gosh. But take note that this is only the cheer studio. Like, only the cheer studio yet it is this big wow i hope it won't be lagging like <laughs> let's move on to the next one so lancelot did a live stream earlier this day and he spilled some tea brand new set of cheerleading clothing for girls and boys made by kidzilla coming soon to royal high and it looks beautiful i love the rainbow the fire effect which one do you like more the rainbow one. Yeah, it reminds me of the Lucky Halo 2019. Yeah. And, but the pink one is really good too. Yes. It, it reminds me of Shadow Empress set because of the fishnets and the fire. Yeah. yeah right. Isn't the log of Royal High? It's not fire. I think it's just for design. Yeah, but it's cool, right? Definitely. Let's move on to the next one. So the next one is this new skin tone feature will be coming to the background of all Royal High faces and will match your skin tone. So if you have a dark skin tone, it will show like this. And if you have a light skin tone, it will show like the original one. And yeah, like it really helps you to choose what face fits perfectly with you. Let's move on to the next one. So the developers are implementing a set of rules to improve the quality of the game and of course the community. Failure to comply can result in punishments, bans, or account wipes. So just a disclaimer that this video isn't meant to offend anyone. I'm just sharing my opinions and of course spilling some tea as I should. 
So the first one is that extra accounts or alt accounts to avoid timers to play multiple times such as the Fountain of Dreams or other systems with timers. So I was using alt accounts yesterday and when I saw this rule, of course, I was frightened. I'm not mindful of this rule at all. And of course, as of knowing this, I will not risk it and I will not use my alternative accounts anymore. I'll just try getting the heal in my main account. So I suggest like just wait for two hours and if ever you have an alt account, I recommend not using it to get a halo or other systems with timers because you may get one. So the next one is that AFK farming with or without the use of third party software to earn currency, items, or levels. So I see a lot of AFK farmers. I personally don't do that because I don't know how it works. But I think it involves going to the apartment in Sunset Island and wearing halos and not following the theme, I think. As far as I know. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. But also a lot of players got banned because of using third party softwares like auto clickers. When I saw tweets about that, of course I was shocked because I didn't know that you can get banned with that. But to be honest, we aren't mindful that we can get banned by using it, but apparently we can. So the next one is that selling Royal High in-game items on external websites. Of course this is, isn't allowed, you cannot only get banned Royal High but Roblox in general. It is against Roblox terms of service to sell in-game items for real money because it's literally pixels. You're giving real money for pixels. Like, Look at these halos in eBay. Of course, this isn't acceptable. The next one is that any form of cyberbullying or hate speech towards players. I totally agree with this. The audience of the game are mostly children, and I don't get why people mock each other just because of their outfits. I know some of them are kids, but words can be hurt, as I always say. If you have nothing good to say, keep it to yourself. Next one is that scamming players through trading. There are a lot of ways to get scammed in Royal Hype. That's why the developers added more features to the trading hub to avoid scamming. Don't do trust trades, cross trades, or any other risky trades in the game because you can get scammed and the developers can't do anything about it. Cross trading any trade that doesn't fully happen in Royal High. This is the main reason as to why people get scammed. As much as possible, don't do any cross trades because as I said earlier, if you get scammed, the developers can't do anything about it. And Barbie mentioned that it's pretty disrespectful to the developers because that means you play the other game more than Royal High. Submitting any false information reports to developers. So Lancelot have made a Twitter account, which is at rh underscore report, and a Google form to report all of the Royal High complaints regarding exploiting and trading. So as some of you may know, players get banned because of exploiting when they didn't even exploit. So Lancelot made a Twitter account and Google form to resolve all of the issues. Don't tolerate false information so you can get banned with that. Lastly, abusing glitches, hacking or exploiting instead of, I think, righteous things. Lastly, Royal High is a well-made game, so obviously there will be flaws and glitches. Taking advantage of those will result to ban. And yeah, that concludes the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed! Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to our channel. Bye, Bye everyone!